Good evening and welcome to evening prayer on this Monday, May 4th. Let us begin with evening prayer. Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We are illumined by the brightness of his rising. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Death has no more dominion over us. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being, and you set in the sky to govern night and day. In a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, you led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures, we give you glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the 100th Psalm. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into God's presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God, our maker to whom we belong. We are God's people and the sheep of God's pasture. Enter the gates of the Lord with thanksgiving and the courts with praise. Give thanks and bless God's holy name. Good indeed is the Lord, whose steadfast love is everlasting, whose faithfulness endures from age to age. Let us pray. Lord our God, we come before you with thanksgiving and praise, for you have created us as your people, and you sustain us with your hand. Nourish us in your rich pasture, and keep us in your steadfast love, that we may bless your name and serve you with gladness day after day. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from Ezekiel, the 34th chapter. So as for you, my sheep, thus says the Lord and Master, Behold, I will distinguish between sheep and sheep and between rams and goats. Is it not enough for you that you grazed on the good pasture, that you trampled down the rest of your pasture with your feet, that you drank the clear water but muddied the rest with your feet? Thus says, thus my sheep grazed on what you trampled with your feet, and drank what you muddied with your feet. Therefore, thus the Lord, thus the Lord says the Lord and Master, Behold, I shall distinguish between the strong sheep and the weak sheep. Because you pushed with side and shoulder, butted all the weak ones with your horns, and greatly distressed the weak. Therefore I will save my sheep, and they will not be as plunder any more. And I shall judge between one ram and another. I shall raise up one shepherd over them, and he will tend them, even my servant David. He shall be their shepherd." And a reading from 1 Peter, the fifth chapter. The elders who are among you, I exhort. I, who am a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and also a partaker of the glory that will be revealed, shepherd the flock of God, which is among you, serving as overseers, not by compulsion, but willingly, not for dishonest gain, but eagerly, nor as being lords over those entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that does not fade away. Likewise, your younger people, submit yourselves to your elders. Yes, all of you be submissive to one another and be clothed with humility, for God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, be to God. God. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you, Lord, have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. 
You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the aid of your servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the house is a creation, for abundant harvest that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance in this time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our bishops and pastors, and for all servants of the church, for this assembly and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who are in isolation, for those who are ill, for those who are out in the front lines, healing those, for those who are searching for a cure, and for those who are providing guidance in this time of crisis. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Giving thanks for all those who have gone before us and are at rest. Rejoicing in the communion of all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our life to you through Christ our Lord. To, to you, you, O Lord. O God, you have called your servants to ventures which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that you that your hand is leading us, and your love supporting us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Amen. Our Father, who Amen. art in heaven, hallowed Amen. be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, Amen. thy will be done, Amen. on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. I wish you all a blessed night, and we look forward to seeing you this, uh, in the morning for morning prayer.